614 still right now. Artificial intelligence is taking center stage at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. The event shows off the tech industry's latest advances. And as we all know, 2023 was dominated by AI. Yeah, it's not going anywhere in 2024. Jessica Naziri live in Las Vegas with a behind the scenes look at some of the newest, biggest electronics. Jessica, good morning. How's Vegas treating you this morning? Good morning, Viva Las Vegas. It's day zero of CES, the biggest tech show. Last night, I got a chance to speak to Gary Shapiro. Here's what he had to say. This is not just a tech show. It is the biggest innovation and tech event in the world. We'll have almost 130,000 people here. We have 4,500 different companies with exhibits. We're seeing solutions to serious problems that people have, and even on a global basis. And that's why the United Nations is here, because we are solving human securities, the right to food, the right to health care, the right to clean air and clean water, the right to community. And they just added one a couple of months ago called the right to technology. And that's what we see here is all those things. So in back of me, companies are still setting up, putting their final touches, but I have three companies here showcasing their latest and greatest. This is Clix. Tell us all about this. What do people need to know? So Clix is a keyboard for your iPhone. Yes, a keyboard for your iPhone. So you get more space for your content because that's, that uh, keyboard comes off the screen. And there's also some really cool shortcuts that allow you to zip around iOS with no problems. This is a content creator's dream, but also anyone who has trouble typing on their phone like me. I have butterfingers and I'm always messing up. I have typos, I'm notorious for it. Will this solve my issue? Well, it's gonna help you type faster and more accurately, especially when you're on the go, like in the back of an Uber, back of a cab, Clix is for you. Okay. On to a next device, this is Vasco. So this is a translation device. Tell us all about it. This is the translation earbud, Vasco Translator E1, and this allows you to speak in 49 languages with the real-time translation inside your ear. Can you give us a quick demo? Sure. You want to use it? You want to hear it in Spanish? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So okay. just put it on your ear. So, guys, I speak Spanish. They're going to translate. What, what language are you speaking? Yeah, I will speak Polish. He'll speak Polish. I'll hear it in Spanish, and everyone yeah. else will hear it in English. Yeah, okay. Jestem pierwszy raz w Stanach. Bardzo mi się podoba. Okay, now we're, we're we, we, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's my first time in the United States and I like it very much. Ah, he said, it's my first time in America and I love this. Okay. Możemy w ten sposób mówić w 49 językach. We can speak 49 languages this way. A 10 osób w tym samym czasie. Okay, we gotta try this out in Farsi. We're gonna come back for this. That was pretty cool. You can literally travel the world and use this device and get around and not feel lost in a country. Thank you. Now on to our final device, Apollo Neuro. This is great for so this is the Apollo wearable from a U.S. company called Apollo Neuroscience. And what this does is it basically gives you the benefits of meditation through your sense of touch. So using generative and predictive AI, uh, this will actually take data from your wearable plus from Apollo, give you more sleep, uh, help reduce stress, and give you overall more energy, which, let's face it, we all need here at CES. You had me at reduce stress. <laughs> yeah. I feel like AI is the buzzword here at CES. We're seeing in almost everything we've been touching and feeling here at CES. So who is this really for? I see that you clipped it on your shirt. Is there also a strap that you can use? Yeah, so you can wear this uh, clipped to your clothing. You can wear it strapped to your wrist if you'd like. And really, it's for anyone that's just wanting to have, again, that little bit more sleep. Uh, a little bit more energy, help reduce stress. You can use it situationally. It also works with an application. So we have something called Smart Vibes. So it'll work predictively and learn your body and your stressors over time so that it actively and proactively uh, will help deliver those things so that you're not feeling that stress throughout the day. You're not having uh, unwanted wake-ups in the middle of the night, those kinds of things. Chris, Rudabay, I think we need everything here. What do you think? I think so, too. And I'm thinking about all the times traveling that I could have used that translation to uh, make things way less awkward and you way more efficient. This. Yeah. So cool. Really the, cool. The keyboard, I'm interested to see how that works, too. It reminds me of, like, the early 2000s with the sidekick. Bring that back. 
bring back that keyboard. Exactly. It's so nostalgic. It kind of is. Yeah. But hey, so much fun. You're going to be there all week, all morning. So we look forward to watching you and, and seeing what other all little week, new tech All week, all morning. Coming back to you guys with more tech. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica.